Hello, Sarita, this question is for you. I know um, you were both involved in a serious accident shortly after you were married. Yes. Um, I was just wondering how that affected your relationship and how you moved past that. Well, it was uh, a terrible car accident, head-on collision, and we did not know that we were going to survive. Even the emergency rescuers came with jaws of life because they felt that we were all gone. And I'm laying in the hallway of the emergency room, and the doctor walks by, looks at my ankle, and says, she'll never walk again. And I was in agonizing pain, and my husband never left my side. Less than a year of marriage, every time I would gain consciousness, he was sitting right there. Um, he was oblivious to the fact that his own forehead was bleeding because he was there to see about me. Here he is, faced with the, huh, the inevitable that I would never walk again. And he says, if you never walk again, I'll push you around oh. in a chair. <laughs> yeah. Fast forward, and um, he had to teach me how to walk again. We didn't go to physical therapy. Uh, I had a grotesque limp, and they told me if I walked, it would be with a metal cane and a brace. And so uh, he would teach me every day. He would stand out in front of me and hold my hand, and he would say, take a step. That's good, Sarita. Take another step. That's good, baby. You're doing so good. And so now, when we walk into new ventures, he's teaching me still how to walk this way. And uh, I'm forever, forever, forever indebted. Forever. Thank you. For me, loyalty is my utmost value. It is my core value. And to me, love really does not prove itself over romantic dinners. It doesn't prove itself over nice dresses or clothes. It proves itself in adversity. Yes. If, if, if you really love someone, mm. be there for them. Ride or die. Absolutely. Absolutely. Ride or die.